Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Saturday Night Horror. Hopefully I don't delete this video on accident like I did last week, so... <laughs> that was fun. But anyway, tonight I'm excited because I'm going to be watching a movie that I've never seen before. It's a movie that I've heard a lot of great things about, I've read a lot of good things about it, and there's an online forum that I go to, campblood.net. Uh, a lot of people there have said some good things about it as well, so I'm, I'm excited about it. Tonight, we're going to be watching Edge of the Axe. Now, Edge of the Axe is pretty much about a masked serial killer. Uh, he's going around hacking people up with an axe in a small mountain uh, mountain area town. And it's kind of, uh, you got to try to figure out who is it? Who is the killer and why is he going around killing all these people? So, I, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to it. That's all I know about it. Like I said, I've not seen it before. As far as cooking goes, I'm um, having a cheat meal tonight, so hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Gotta take a break from the keto food once in a while. But yeah, Edge of the Axe, like I said, heard a lot of good things about it. I'm looking forward to watching it, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go in the kitchen, let's get our cheat meal, and let's go out front, turn all the lights off, and let's watch Edge of the Axe. Alright everyone, here's my cheat meal for the night. A cheeseburger from Burger King. That's right, a cheeseburger from Burger King and a tall glass of ice water. So let's take this out in the front room with our water. Let's turn off the lights. Let's watch our movie. Here we go, Edge of the Axe. Like I said, I'm definitely excited to be seeing this for the first time. I hope it turns out to be really well. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this cheeseburger, drink this water, and I'll talk to you when it's over. Alright, Edge of the Axe is done, and I can honestly say I was happy with it, man. I enjoyed it, and I definitely think I'll be watching it again. So, Edge of the Axe, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's about a kind of a, a small mountain area town where these mysterious killings are taking place. People are being hacked up with an axe, they're being beheaded with an axe, and they're kind of trying to figure out you know, who's the killer, why are they doing this? What are their motives? So the thing I liked about this movie is it really is a guessing game up until the very end. I had my suspicions on who I thought the killer was, but you don't really find out for sure until the end. And I like what they do during the movie. They keep making you think it's someone else. And then just when you're totally convinced it's that person, they switch gears and make you think it's another person. <laughs> And they keep doing that right up until right before the end credits roll. That's when you realize, oh, that's who it was. So I love how they do that. I love how even at the very end, I thought it was somebody. Then they put the suspicion on someone else. And so you start thinking it's them. And then they make you think, well, maybe they're not, it's not who it is. And like I said, you don't really find out who the killer is until right before the end credits roll. And it's awesome. So I loved it. As far as the kills go, every single kill in this movie is done with an axe. Um, people are getting beheaded, people are getting hacked. And usually when on the horror movies when people get hacked with an axe, you see the killer raising the axe and it comes down and it cuts to another shot. Not this movie, you actually see people getting hacked up repeatedly with an axe. You'll see people standing in the corner, nowhere to go, and bam, wham, wham. Well not wham, you, you know what the, the hell was I doing? But yeah, just over and over, hacking them with an axe. So the movie is gory, but not as gory as these new, uh, these modern day horror films. I mean, like I said, you see people getting hacked up with an axe, but it's not really bad. I think the worst thing you see is someone gets their fingers chopped off with an axe as they're reaching into a closet and they don't realize the killer's in there. So that was definitely a visual I did not think I was going to see tonight. So, not, I mean, it's gory, but not too bad. The kills are nothing over the top. Like I said, Hacked with an Axe is the M.O. That's the name of the game in this movie. The acting itself is... It's not bad, but it's not great. It's, uh... It's good for a horror movie. I'll put it that way. It's good for an 80s horror movie. I'll, I'll just keep it like that. Now, the killer themselves, they wear all black. It's like a... Uh, long black sleeves, kind of like a black trench coat with the hood on and they have this mask, a completely white mask with just the eye holes cut out. It's, it's creepy as hell but it works. 
And like I said, they just keep throwing suspicion to all like all his different characters in the movie. Now usually when I watch a horror movie, I find myself not liking most of the characters and wishing death on them all. I didn't find myself feeling that way in this movie. There were characters that I actually wanted to make it and I actually wanted to survive, especially one, uh, this girl named Lily, and I really wanted her to live. So yeah, um, I'm not going to reveal if she does or not, or if any of them do or not. I want you to find out for yourself, but yeah. This was a, one of those rare horror movies where I didn't hate the entire cast and I didn't wish death on the entire cast, which I thought was awesome. And like I said, for what this movie was, I don't even I don't even know if this movie came out in the theaters. I think it went straight to VHS, to home video, and it's really, really good. It's not a movie that a lot of people talk about unless you absolutely know about it. I got lucky in going to that forum that I go to, people were talking about it, and I started researching it, and I'm like, this sounds like a decent flick, and it is. It's a really good slasher flick. flick. Uh, it kind of starts off as like a whodunit mystery or who did it, and then it just progresses into an actual slasher flick, and a really good one at that. So, Edge of the Axe, I definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, this is a movie that I'll definitely be watching again. I'll probably pull it out at Halloween and take a look at it again. But yeah, I enjoyed Edge of the Axe, man. I'm, I'm always really happy when I watch a horror movie for the first time and I enjoy it. Because that's not always the case. Uh, more often than not, I, I don't enjoy them for whatever reason. But Edge of the Axe, I really did. And this one will definitely be staying in my collection. So, hopefully I don't delete this video. And I'll be able to spread the word of Edge of the Axe to you all. Anyway... For this episode, that's going to do it. Edge of the Axe was friggin' awesome. Definitely recommend it. Uh, if you don't want to see people getting hacked up with an axe, kind of turn away. You'll know when it's over. But yeah, the gore wasn't too bad. So Edge of the Axe, definitely recommend it. It was a fun movie. I'll definitely be watching it again. Can't wait to watch it again. Check it out, man. You won't be disappointed. As for next week, as of right now recording this, I don't know what, what we'll be watching, but when I put the video up, of course we all will know. Don't know if I'm going to cook uh, next weekend or not. And about the cooking, I know a lot of people like the cooking, and I like to do the cooking, but being on this diet, it's kind of, I don't know man, there's just not a whole lot of good things on this diet to eat. There's not a lot of good things to cook on this keto diet. But I do want to stick to it. Now, usually my cheat meals are on Friday. Uh, we, we get some pizza. So that's why I really don't record or cook anything on Saturdays. But I really want to stick to this diet because, honestly, I have to. I, I really, really have to drop this weight. Um, and I'm not going to get into a big speech why I just do. So that's really the reason why you're not seeing a whole lot of cooking. I'm not cooking what I used to or as much as I used to. And it's not because I don't want to. It's because I have to stick to this diet, man. Um, I've got to, let's just say, if I don't lose all this weight, I'll die young, and I'm not trying to do that at all. So with that being said, everyone, that's going to do it for this week. Edge of the Axe was awesome. Next week should be fun. As of right now, I have no clue what we're going to watch, but you guys will. So let's go ahead and wrap this up, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you had fun with it. Sorry about the cooking, man, but like I said, I'm I'm a big guy. You can tell watching the videos. I'm ridiculously big. I've got to lose this weight. So, appreciate y'all watching. Hope you have fun with it. Um, I appreciate the support y'all give me. It's all freaking awesome. I love it. And we'll see you next week for more Saturday Night Horror. Hope y'all have an awesome week. Y'all take care.